Hey friend, welcome back. Let's talk about reef finance price. It's pumping and it's pumping hard. Should you buy or should you sell? And I will answer your questions in this video. Um, this is not financial advice, it's for educational purpose only. So here I am on reef's chart. And what we always want to do is look at the big picture, the daily chart, before we, before we go in, into the current price. Why is that? Because we want to see the big picture, which gives us clues of the future price. So um, the price went all the way up to five cents and then it dipped and corrected 52%. All right, so let's go into four hour to have a more detailed look at the chart. And in my previous video that I have mentioned that you either wait for the price to go to the, the bottom of the channel of support and then you buy or you wait until the price breaks out and it dips a little and then you buy and i have said that in this video um brief finance price update it's bullish and you can watch it um if you would like so what's happening what's happening is that the price is breaking out and because of bullish news and here i am on um Reef finance twitter and they said that alameda um, research has invested 20 million into refinance. And of course, this has this very, very bullish news has pumped the price, which is cool and all. So the question is, should you buy refinance right now at this price? And the and the answer is no, no, no. Why is that? Because the news came out, it has already pumped the price. And if you buy here and hope that it goes back up, um, higher, then that's a very poor uh, risk to reward. And what do I mean by risk to reward? It's just a fancy way of saying um, you, the price action has a bigger chance of dipping and you will be stuck buying high and then selling low. All right. So the best time to buy, like I said in my previous video, was here when the price broke out and then you trade. Why is that? Because you have a good risk to reward which is a fancy way, way of saying you gain more money than you lose. Uh, for example, if you have entered here, like I have mentioned in my previous video, and you have entered with $5,000, that means that you would gain, if price goes back up to the all-time high again, that means you would have gained 74% of that $5,000. However, if price um, breaks down and then you hit your stop loss and you're out of the trade, then you would lose 12% of that $5,000. You see how you have more potential potential to gain? You gain 74%, but you lose 12%. That's how you trade with a mathematical edge. And when the price broke out of this area, that was a super awesome time to buy. And what's the next super awesome time to buy was when price broke out here. Because at least you have a at least you have a decent and good risk to reward. Again, right here, you see, you see right here how you have potential to gain more money than you lose with this box. So if you are going to buy here, um, then it would be a really, really bad area to buy really bad because price could go like this, touch the all time high again, and then it just dips down again. <laughs> it just <laughs> goes down in a downward channel. See, the price went on a downward channel here and it went on a downward channel here and price takes its time to keep going on a downward channel and it wears down on your soul. And if you have bought here and you're hoping it goes up and maybe it does uh, goes up beyond that price, but you're, um, you're putting your money and you're, just, and you're just leaving it there instead of leaving it on other coins that could go up and you're buying high if you buy at the current price. So... With that said, what is a good level to buy at? Well, that is hard to predict, but I do see that this is a good level of support. And what is support? It's where people are willing to come in, step in, and buy. So what do I see? I see this is a decent level of support. And so say that the price does go up like this. Say the price goes up back to all-time high, and then it corrects all the way down again, what Reef usually does. Then the price would be, the dip would be 24%. So you're getting a 24% discount. 
and then you can enter the trade. Of course, I'm not saying that this is a absolutely perfect place to enter the trade. You have to watch the chart, you have to watch the candles, and you have to watch to see what it does. And then you can en enter the, um, the trade with confidence. But that's for another video. And as always, friend, please, please, please use risk management. That's how you gain more money than you lose. If you have found this video informative, then you'll definitely enjoy my premium Telegram group, where I'll share with you a winning portfolio strategy, small cap coins that could go up 10x, and I'll teach you how to trade with confidence. Um, the group has 50 people. You come in, you chill, you talk. It's a lot of fun. Um, membership starts at $30. Feel free to message me on Telegram to join. Anyways, friends, I do hope that you have uh, been making gains uh, if you have been holding here and if you have been holding here um, then if it hits back up to the all-time high it's a good time to take some profit because once it hits back to all-time all high um, yes it could break up it could break out like this but then again it could also dip down so it's not a bad idea to take a bit of profit when once it hit back to the previous all-time high why is that? Because rest, rest assured that people who have bought here and who have bought here, they're, they're very happy to sell their coins once it goes back to the previous all-time high. So they, they sell when they're breaking even or they sell at a slight loss. And, we, and I'm pretty positive that the price will um, dip down. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I will make a new Reef video update maybe once a week. Thank you.